I'm at Lanai Coffee in Francis Park. It's a perfect location for me to tell you about our huge announcement. We've decided to do something crazy. It may be the craziest thing we've ever done. We decided to leave our careers, downsize our possessions, and travel the U.S. in a travel trailer. Initially, we planned to move to Hawaii, but we put that on hold to travel the U.S. looking for that aloha spirit and the goodness that we find throughout the mainland. And to up the craziness just a little bit, we'll be traveling with our two dogs, our silly husky Presley and our tiny horse Priscilla, who happens to be a hundred pounds of clumsiness and fun, and she also happens to be dead. So what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Why are we doing this? Well, the main goal is to pause and slow down the pace of life. When you ask people today how they're doing, in many cases their response is busy, busy, busy. We don't ever want to answer with that word or a similar phrase anymore. So we plan to pause, which has a double meaning for us. The first meaning is to slow down and enjoy life. The second meaning is to stop along the way at dog-friendly destinations with our two crazy dogs. How did this all come about? Basically, we had talked about this a couple of times. Selling everything or limiting our possessions and, and just traveling. Uh, both times we attempted to do this, I had had jobs that were flexible enough for me to do this. And shortly after we had started our planning, we had an unexpected um, life change or job change at the time, um, which limited our ability to be able to travel. We did have a bit of a jump start. About 18 months ago was the last time that we had the idea and then I experienced a, uh, a life change two weeks after we bought our travel trailer. So Initially, earlier this year, when we decided to make this change, we had two ideas in mind that we were struggling with. One was just moving to Hawaii. The other one was traveling a bit in the travel trailer uh, before we made that move. So we have the travel trailer, and we were able to test out camping with the dogs, as well as some full-time RV living. Um, after a few months trying the full-time RV around April of this year, we really enjoyed that. So we decided to put our Hawaii move on hold, although that is still the end destination, and just travel the mainland for a while before we made that move. invite you to travel along on our journey with us by clicking subscribe below. It's totally free and then you will receive notifications every time we post a new video.
chose Cahokia RV Park for our first time, full time stay to really test out permanent RV living. Um, there are really relatively few options right around the St. Louis area. The closest to downtown are the St. Louis RV Park, the Casino Queen RV Park, Safari RV Park, and this park, Cahokia RV Park. We had some friends stay at the St. Louis RV Park, and while they actually enjoyed the park, we visited and we really felt closed in there. The Casino Queen, it's really close to downtown, just across the river. It's a couple miles uh, closer to St. Louis than this park, uh, but we quickly ruled it out because it's about twice as expensive on a monthly camping. We also looked at Safari. It's about the same distance as this one, but it's a bit north of here, um, in like northeast St. Louis. Um, we're in Cahokia, just a little bit south of East St. Louis, and we like this area, uh, general area, a little bit better. Very pleased with our selection of Cahokia RV Park, but the main reason for the high rating is not really the proximity or even the cost, which that's what we base the uh, first selection on. It's more importantly uh, the the high rating of this park is the ownership. Um, the the employees in the front office were extremely friendly. They also helped us set up our our mail since it's full time living. We have our mail coming here. Um, they handled incoming mail and packages not only for ourselves but also for our business, which hits a lot of packages. There is also a restaurant called the Sawmill Barbecue Restaurant, which is a really nice barbecue restaurant. I think we ate there two or three times when we didn't have time to prepare dinner or didn't have something here, and it was nice and convenient. Uh, they do have a pool, it's quite clean, and uh, didn't seem to be too crowded anytime we used it. We used it often, our grandkids use it as well. Um, Cahokia RV Park is not a resort. But it's a simple, friendly campground with all the basic amenities. Great people, all in close proximity of the downtown area. It's our last day at Cahokia RV Park, and we're going to load up the dogs and go to a uh, prehistoric site here nearby called Cahokia Mounds. It's uh, just across the river in St. Louis, the oldest Native American prehistoric earthen mound site here in Cahokia. We're going to go check it out. Quick point of clarification, Cahokia Mounds is not in Cahokia. It's about 15 or 20 miles away, evidently according to the website. It was named after the Cahokia Indian tribe. That was so, don't go to Cahokia if you're looking for Cahokia Mounds. Plug it into your GPS. Right, Priscilla? She's deaf. the nature trail. I'm supposed to go by some mounds, but as you can see behind me, we spent the last 10 minutes just walking through a pasture. Yeah. <laughs> a pasture. So earlier today we visited Cahokia Mounds mostly to 
walk the trails and get some exercise. Uh, they have quite a few trails there and they're fairly long. I think there was a six mile and a 10 mile uh, trail. There's a few smaller trails as well. Um, we chose the six mile trail, but I think as you saw from the footage, we got a little lost. I wouldn't really recommend it for great nature trails, even though that's what they're called. Most of the time you're walking through pastures. If you're looking for exercise, there's probably some other options. If you do want to get a little bit of exercise and walk, the best path is probably a shorter path near the museum and uh, education center. Uh, the museum and education center is only open, I think, Wednesday through Sunday, uh, and it doesn't allow dogs inside, so we did not go inside for that. So that might be really cool if you want to learn the history of Cahokia Mounds. Um, I would suggest if you're just wanting to see the best sites, a quick little hike there around the education center. If you've got dogs and you don't want to go into the education center, then you can pop them back in the car, drive to the Woodhenge parking lot and see Woodhenge. Uh, so you can drive to the Monk's Mound, which is the huge mound. I would recommend that because the view at the top is quite beautiful of the city of St. Louis. It's a bit of a walk, so make sure your dogs have uh, some water to walk up. I think it's a, over 100 stairs. So there's the big announcement. We're gonna pause for now and enjoy the moment and take some time to look for our next destination and possibly some upgrades on our trailer.